You know, we talk about the topic of uh, protecting kids from sexualized content on this show a lot. And I want to play for you Tiffany Justice, the co-founder of Moms for Liberty, on with MSNBC anchor Joy Reid, who just proves herself to be such an idiot. Uh, and with this case, no exception, this time on book banning. I, she, I really think that she needs an IQ test because uh, I think she has some problems we need to, to like actually discuss. Watch saw what some of the content was in the books. I mean, explicit, graphic, sexual content. And I'm happy to talk about some of that content if, you, if you'd like to. Well, this is the question again. The books that are being banned, I want to give you just no some... Hold on, hold on a second. Well, no, Joy, but I want to be clear. Uh -huh. No one's banning books. Write the book, print the book, publish the book, put the book in the public library, sell the book, right? Uh, we're talking about a public school library. Children mm -hmm. don't have unfettered access to the internet at school. Mm -hmm. I did a, a FOIA records request, and, and, and I wanted to see what kinds of internet sites are banned mm -hmm. in schools, if we're going to talk about banning, right? Mm -hmm. and, and the subject matter in the books that moms are concerned about are the same things that kids don't have access to on the internet. So it, it just feels very hypocritical, right? No, why is no one out there protesting for, you know, free the internet in schools? <laughs> and uh, Moms for Liberty did bring the receipts in this conversation. I'd like to just warn you, this content is not appropriate for children if that wasn't already obvious. Watch. What is the expertise that you have and other Moms for Liberty advocates have to decide that a book, an award-winning book like All Boys Aren't Blue isn't uh, appropriate for students to read? What, what is your expertise? What a tragic story of a young man who's anally raped by his adult family member. So you have incest, rape, pedophilia. Joy, you said you'd let me answer, so sure. I'm going to answer Please for you. Please do. Um, in what context is a strap-on dildo acceptable for public school? Just. Let, I mean, that's my question mm -hmm. to you. Tell me what the context around the strap-on dildo or the rape of a minor child by a teacher. Hold on a second. No, no, no. no. no wait, We're hold talking on. about no, public no, no. school. One, one moment. All right. They never like it when you bring the receipts. No. They never like it. They never like it. Joy Reid, what a moron. Yeah. That, and honestly, that's probably like, that's a compliment to her to just call her a moron. Mm -hmm. The things that I want to say... I just, Pat's so wholesome, and I try not to say it around Pat. <laughs> Stu, not so much. Hey, I'm very wholesome. I mean, how dumb can you be? She really is a moron. And, and mm -hmm. you know, again, uh, her own website, <clears throat> which had all sorts of homophobic slurs on it, would be the type of thing that was banned from public school. Right. Um, so that's a, an issue she probably needs to deal with. She's also probably the most far-left media member mm -hmm. on television, uh, she, and that's why she doesn't get fired. I mean, obviously, she should have been fired over and over and over again for the things she's done, not not, not stopping at uh, the, her, just her website, but also uh, her uh, intelligence level and ratings or other right. reasons. Um, uh, she is uh, really one of the worst examples of this in media. And uh, and look, what a, the one thing I will give her some credit for there is letting uh, you know, the Mom, Moms for Liberty co-founder actually speak. A little she, bit. A little bit. But she then she did. Shut, her, shut her down. She did. She just shut yeah. her down, but she put her on the air, and, yeah. and I think she was surprised at how good the arguments were. They are really good arguments. If you really think about it, it's obvious. Right. Yeah, but meanwhile, Joy Reid, Pat, um, we've got about 30 seconds left after I finish here. Meanwhile, Joy Reid is like, but it won an award. Yeah. yeah. She's okay, so, so it did. belongs in front of our children? From yeah. NAMBLA. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he won the NAMBLA Book of the Year Award. That doesn't get you. Right uh, in school libraries. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Last word, Pat. And, and that's the thing. You know, it, as she pointed out, it's not banned. Right. It's not banned. It's age It's age inappropriate. Mm -hmm. And that's they're trying to keep it out of the hands of kids. Can I ask you one question on that yeah. interview, Sarah? Was that her natural hair? Uh, Joy Reid's? Yes. Uh, no. Okay. No. I was curious. Yeah, I figured you might know. Oh, my God. She's culturally appropriating. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Swe I'm Swedish. Oh, I am wow. a Swedish man. And that, that was very Swedish hair. Are you offended? Yes. Oh, my God. I want her banned from public schools. I want her banned from every TV <laughs> in this country. <laughs> oh, the American people have done that already. <laughs> That's true. It's no one's actually watching. Band. That's yeah. a great point. <laughs> we'll be right back.